Welcome to another Salty Strikes Fishing Adventure. I'm Chris and all you subscribers, welcome back. Uh, today I got about uh, five dozen sand fleas and I have a new uh, sheep's head jig I want to try out. And uh, we're going to give that a shot and probably just bounce around the bridges and docks and because it's supposed to be a little nasty offshore today. So I'm not even going to attempt that. <laughs> so stick around, check it out. All right, today guys, we are switching out our bottom sweeper jigs and our ghost uh, sheep's head jigs for these uh, salt donkey jigs. Uh, they're sheep's head. This, the current's uh, moving quite a bit right now, so I'm switching to, usually I use half ounce when the current slows down, but it's still moving pretty good right now. So we're gonna use these three quarter ounce one knot uh, hooks, and uh, they're very similar to the bottom sweeper, just a little different design. Uh, so we'll give those a shot and uh, see how they do. I was told about the Assault Donkey Jigs uh, from uh, our, my friend Bill, who has an awesome up and coming, uh, is blowing up uh, fishing channel, Jacked Up Fishing. And um, so you guys should check that out. Uh, but he uh, told me about these and um, I contacted his friend or whatever. I guess he's real local. I think it's more like up in Jacksonville or whatever, but he, he will do shipping. Um, so he sells a, some in local stores, but it, all in, in all honesty though, um, I did pay for these. Uh, they weren't given to me or anything, so I'm just gonna give my honest opinion. Keep that out in the open, so, you know, in all fairness. And we'll just... Throw that on and drop down, see if we can find something. Got something nibbling on this thing. Got him. Got him. Oh, freaking pen. Holy crap. Got him right under the jaw. Oh, a spot tail. Spot tail pinfish. I've been catching a lot of these lately. I can, uh, if I'm gonna keep these, I'm, I'll let them get a little bit bigger than that. But these are pretty good eating. They just got a lot of pin bones. They are pinfish, so. Well, these pinfish keep tearing up my uh, sand fleas, so we're gonna keep moving on and see if we can't find those sheep's head. Uh, little guy, what have we got here? Oh, little sheep's head. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, got him good there. But that's exactly what we're looking for. Sheep's head, just a little bit bigger than that. Well, quite a bit bigger, but. There, got him. Oh, he's a little bit bigger. Target species. He's a little bit bigger, but he's still not anywhere close to I want to keep. Well, he's 13, but um, I like to keep him a little closer to like 14. But another uh, target species. We keep looking for maybe a little bit bigger ones. If I get two big ones, at least over 14, um, I'm gonna call it a day. <laughs> it is freaking cold out here. I got the gloves on for crying out loud. I like to fish these uh, straight up and down usually when the current's slow, but I probably got another about an hour, hour and a half before the current slows down. So, you know, you just kind of Got to make it work sometimes, but they seem, you know, these kind of jigs seem to be a little more productive when you're fishing straight up and down. Ah, oh, I'm gonna get this guy. Ah, almost had him. Yeah, I took it again. 
Oh, got him. Got him that time. Yep. Gotcha, buddy. Ha <laughs> He's been down there. Stealing my bait. Another little guy, right species. But we'll just keep at it. Fun to catch. Cool little critters. Well, I think it's time to move along to the next one. Got one. Got him good that time. That might be a keeper. That might be a keeper. Oh. Yeah, we're looking at uh, 13 and a half. We'll, uh, we'll keep him. He's pretty hardy. Look at all the gold specks and stuff in him. It's pretty cool. Not quite 14, but almost there. There we go. Got another one. He might be decent. Ah, uh, another little guy. Man, this uh, salt donkey uh, sweeps uh, sheep's head jig is catching sheep's head, so I can't really complain so far. You know, I can't make the big ones magically appear, but. It's catching what it says it's supposed to catch. So, take it as it is. Got him, got him that time. Yep. Gotcha. Got a little sheep's head. He's only, he's just under 12 or right at 12. Well, we'll keep this show on the road, keep moving down, see if we can find some more. Sun's finally came out, still cold as crap, but still enjoying catching up some fish. I hope you guys are enjoying too. <laughs> There I go. Got him that time. Oh, I snagged him. <laughs> I snagged him. Oh, no wonder he's so little. Oh man, save dry ball there, buddy. Little guy. Grow up and become a fish taco. Move it on once again. Come on. Got him. <laughs> and another little guy. And sheep said are everywhere, but. See, the she sheep's head breeding season is uh, basically the winter months and they head offshore to go breed and i guess they don't really eat much out there that's what i've read and um then they come back in shore and then they're starving and then gobble up everything um so you're just trying to catch them when they're coming and going from uh you know breeding and uh you know of course this one's too small for it to be a breeder but got one. Oh, another little guy man i just want to I just want one more keeper so I can go home. <laughs> oh. oh, there he goes. Well, I hadn't hit that uh, the last sheep's head yet but I am looking for it and I want to try to grab it before I get out of here. If not, I'm going home with one sheep's head even though I caught a ton. So um, 
Uh, we're gonna head back towards the bridge, uh, you know, it's closer to the ramp, and um, I don't wanna spend too much more time out here. But, uh, you know, I've had a great time. I'm glad you guys joined me. So let's see if we can't grab that last one. Well, so far the bridge isn't really being productive or helpful. Are you freaking kidding me? I think it's a crab. Well, thanks for joining me on that uh, Salty Strikes fishing adventure. Um, we came out here looking for sheep's head. That was the target species. And we were trying out the new salt donkey sheep's head jig. And uh, you know, lo and behold, we got a bunch of sheep's head. Um, although they weren't uh, big ones, I was hoping to keep two over 14 uh, today. That was my goal and I couldn't hit that. Uh, I kept one 13 and a half and I let another 13 go and then another one that was just a smidge over 12 go. Uh, but like there'll be more days, I, you know, I got the vacuum sealer. So, you know, I'll, I'll wait till I get a few and uh, before I cook them. Anyway, they're really good eating. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you got any questions, comments, or, you know, ideas about the salt donkey, uh, sheep's head jig, leave them in the below, I'll get to you. And uh, thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time on the water. Bye, guys.